You're about to see why this right here is one of the best outdoor cooking tools ever invented. This is a Weber kettle. I do not know how old this is, but uh, I bought this house and the previous owners left this little guy here. And uh, it's a little beat up, a little weathered looking. But these things are amazing because uh, they're practically indestructible. I uh, went ahead and picked up a new grill for it since, uh, you know, I don't know what well, was uh, cooked on this thing. And I don't really feel like cleaning that up, so I just bought a new one. And uh, look, you know, inside's an old bag of charcoal and some lighter fluid with no label. Uh, but we're going to get this thing cleaned up a little bit, and we're going to do a cook on it. Okay, the old Weber kettle is good as new. That's the awesome thing about these. If you want to get an idea of how old this thing is, I don't know, but on this bag of charcoal here, I did find a date stamp on it that goes back to 2016. So this thing's probably at least a good eight years old, sitting out in the backyard all that time. Cleaned up a lot better than I even expected. And I didn't try very hard. I spent about five minutes on it. And uh, <coughs> I could probably have cleaned it better. That's the amazing things about these is a, uh, this coating on here. Um, they're practically indestructible. Um, so, get rid of that. It's got its brand new grate on it. And if you want to know what I cleaned it with, I used a garden hose, a scotch sponge. I used the uh, non-scratching, you know, uh, side there, uh, scrub side, and Dawn dishwashing detergent. So, nothing special. I'm gonna split a chicken and get this thing going with some charcoal and uh, cook it up. Okay, we're gonna cook this chicken with charcoal. I've got a chimney starter here of charcoal that I'm gonna fire up, get that going. And uh, to answer your question, no. I know you're thinking this. I did not use that old bag of charcoal. I've got some fresh charcoal right here. Charcoal is hot enough, so we're gonna go ahead and get this in to the kettle. Okay, we've got the charcoal in. Notice I've got it all off to one half of the kettle here and the reason for that is that way we can keep the chicken kind of some on some off of being directly over those coals and uh, we'll get a nice cook let me show you how easy this is all right here's what we're cooking we've got a whole chicken that i split into two halves and one of them is rubbed down with the mccormick's nashville hot chicken seasoning i just want i never tried that stuff before i thought i'd give it a shot the other one is also rubbed with that but I started off by rubbing it down with the Dave's Carolina Reaper Insanity Sauce here, and that stuff is blazing hot and it's really good. So this chicken's gonna be fire, seriously, fire. So uh, let's get it on the grill and uh, we'll get this cooked. All right, here's how we're rolling. We're starting off with the chicken positioned mostly over the coals, and I'm gonna show you how to do this without burning it. Notice I've got the drumettes here, the drumsticks, uh, kind of off the coals, so those don't get totally burnt because they're so nice and thin. We're gonna put the lid on this. I've got the vents down below wide open, but this vent, we're gonna keep way down. Don't forget, that thing is hot. So if you're gonna to touch it, don't touch it for very long or don't, or you know, use a tool. Uh, <laughs> something. But uh, you know, here we go. I'm just making a video and forgetting what I'm doing. So anyways, we're gonna choke that down. So that's going to, uh, Kind of lower the temperature of that those coals and keep it from catching on serious fire and uh, i think we're going to have some good chicken if i'm going to watch it for a little bit if uh, if i notice excessive amount of smokes coming out or something like that or i hear something going on then i'll go down below and choke down the fire on this guy but right now i've just got it pretty much wide open and uh this is going to take roughly about an hour to cook Okay, it's been 20 minutes and I have not lifted the lid. Do we trust the process here? Let's have a look, see how we're doing. Look at that, nothing's burnt, no flames. It's still freaking hot, uh, but not super hot. Let's see how the underside looks. Uh, here, a nice little bit of sizzle there. I'm trying to hold this camera steady because I didn't feel like doing the fancy stuff today. Oh, I like what I'm seeing here. Get a little bit of char going on there. That meat is cooking there nicely, kind of starting to split a little bit. Yeah, we're looking really good. So what I just did there is I flipped it. Oh, that's that's the heart. Oh, that's my little snack here in a minute. All right, don't judge. <laughs> I'm gonna. I just flipped that so I can crisp up the skin a little bit, and we're gonna go another 20 minutes and see what happens. 
All right, another 20 minutes have passed. And uh, let's get a check in here. I want to show one more time here real quick. This is how much the events are open. I would say that's about so 75% closed, only 25% open. Quarter open, very, very tight. But the bottom is all the way open, wide open still. So let's see what well, shiny this thing is. <laughs> I can see myself. Uh, let's have a look here. All right. Uh, as you can see, we've still got plenty of really good hot coals down in there. You see that red burning. And, uh, you know, we don't have any flames coming up. And, uh, oh, man. <laughs> that is looking good. There's my little, my little treat. There we go. And uh, this, this little piece of aluminum foil, this is how I marked it to make sure that I don't forget which one has that uh, Dave's Insanity sauce on it. Uh, let's pull that back over here. Okay, so now here's what we're doing. Here's where you, you got to kind of start feeling things a little bit. Um, I think we're looking really good. I'm going to pull these back over here away from the coals. So they're not going to be directly over the coals anymore. There we go. And see that? We've got some distance there. We've got the color, we've got the, 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 the char, skin is good. We're gonna go and put this lid back on here and uh, it's gonna go about another 20 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just open up these just a little bit more. So they're about halfway. There we go, let it breathe a little bit more. We're gonna finish these up. Okay, it has been another 20 minutes. It's been a total of an hour and uh, I'm gonna let you have a look at how we're doing and we are done I've got my my thermal pro probe here check this out and uh, yeah 175 check the breast over here 175 174 175 there it is the thighs and legs and everything else should be a little higher there's 180 they feel really good 181 yeah we are good it's time to go ahead and pull these off and we're gonna have some fun tonight so after we get these off here go get those off the side here i'm gonna show you one of the cool things about the weber kettle so notice we still got a lot of really good usable coals there so um that's how efficient this thing is we're just gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're going to close off the air vents totally, all the way down. So we're all the way to closed. There we go. And we're just going to choke that out. And uh, well, tomorrow we're going to come back and show you how to empty the ash, which is one of the coolest things on these things. All right, so let's carve into this a magnificent, beautiful piece of chicken here and see what we got. Look at that. I know the lighting isn't the greatest in here right now, but uh, this is a pretty casual video. If you like these, uh, this video, this is how I roll, okay? Pretty casual, pretty real. Not a, su not a super ton of detail in this one, but um, I uh, checked my channel. I got a lot on there. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Perfectly cooked. Now I gotta try a little bit of that skin. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Well, that's how easy it is. Weber kettle. Mmm. Thank you for watching. I'm going to eat this now. Mmm. All right, if you want to see how to clean up your Weber kettle and care for it after a cook, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check for the next video because I've got that one in full detail coming right up. Thanks for watching. This has been Tony Tone Barbecue.